Sullivan County, a land painted with mountains, lakes, rivers, and streams. It's also a land of balanced progress, where the right opportunities are creating jobs and complementing the natural beauty everyone has come to love. The Sullivan County Partnership for Economic Development is one of the organizations driving that progress. Those orange cones are everywhere. The infrastructure is booming, people are working, people are focused. You know, it's exciting because I think there's definitely a renaissance happening in Sullivan County. There's so much going on right now, so the opportunity is very right for the investors or the business person to, to come in and tap into that, that progress because things are changing here. You know, energy begets energy. It just creates a, a, a good synergy. We do our projects in Roscoe, Livingston Manor sees what's going on with their own community and they feed off of our energy, we feed off of their energy, and it's just a groundswell. What really helps us justify what we're doing is the traffic that comes off the highway. This area in five years is going to be unbelievable. More and more people have been really drawn to Sullivan County for a variety of different reasons, between the concerts and the shows at Bethel Woods and the Wellness Center, and now with the development of the uh, casinos coming, more and more people are being drawn to the county, which is really helping us a lot. We've seen a lot of folks that are permanently relocating here to start small businesses, to raise their family, and I think that's been probably one of the best things I've seen in the last three, five years. We repurposed and, and rebuilt uh, about 4,500 square feet of space here into a new state-of-the-art branch. Uh, it's a beautiful location and we built it based upon um, demand that we were seeing here in uh, the town of Thompson and an expectation for increased need for consumer and commercial loans in this marketplace. There are small businesses popping up all over the county. Go to Calicoon, go to Hortonville, go to Narrowsburg. Go downtown Monticello, see all the new little restaurants that we're seeing opening. Down to Forestburg, a restaurant that hasn't been open in years and years, reopen their doors. So there's a lot of great energy in Sullivan County. I feel it each and every day in this office. Sullivan County Partnership plays a vital role. They provide excellent networking opportunities. They provide some support services. If you need to get something done, they know which way to point you. Sullivan County is a place where the powers to be want business. They want you to come here. They're business friendly. They have a lot of uh, shovel-ready sites. And when you get to know Sullivan County, you'll appreciate the beauty and the quality of life. One of our priorities in Sullivan County is what we call shovel-ready sites, but in our case, what we call right-to-build sites. And what that means is that all of the approvals, all the environmental is in place, so that when a company comes and talks to us, and we bring them to a site like the Glen Wild Industrial Park, it doesn't take longer than 30 days to get their building permit and get in the ground. So this project is a $1.3 billion project that consists of a 1.5 million square foot casino, which is rising over my shoulder behind me, um, an entertainment village which will be contiguous to the casino, a refurbished monster golf course, and an indoor family water park hotel. We are building here a, a wellness center that you can see going behind me. We are putting in 90 million in this project and also I'm happy to say that till now we have created 110 construction jobs uh, and most of the people who are working here are from Sullivan County. We were going to have to move the whole factory, which means that we were going to have to take approximately 130 jobs out of New York State and move them to Virginia. With the situation in Sullivan County, where we have affordable electricity, we have attractive tax, we have an engaged workforce, we'll be able to save those 117 jobs right now, and then we'll be able to create more jobs here. We know that education is definitely a key driver to economic success, so we're doing all we can to make sure that we're building a workforce for tomorrow. We're going to continue to focus our efforts to drive enterprise level businesses to join us in Sullivan County and to help drive the economy. We also will continue our focus on improving our infrastructure and never forgetting that small business helps drive the economy. The reality for us is we're business ready today.